Yes, yes. Now, speaking of videos, can I show y'all this super cute video I found? Okay, let's just roll the clip. She's got the strongest knees in the whole class. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so excited to bring out my first guest. She's one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world. She's an actress and author. Please welcome Priyanka Chopra Jonas! So you've been married four years. Congratulations. Crazy. Y'all are we so We were recently together. referred to as a longtime couple. A long time couple. Yeah, I was like, wow, we're a long time couple now. <laughs> That's so weird. Where did time go? We just got married. How <laughs> does that happen? A long time couple. <laughs> a long time couple. Let's see. Um, Nick Jonas saw you when he was younger, huh? Yes. Tell us about that. That's a crazy story. My mother in law told me that story, and I was like, mm, I don't know. I, when I was 17, actually, when I was 18, I just turned 18. I won the Miss World pageant. Mm -hmm. This was in London, and um, I was, I had just, this was November, I turned 18 in July. Complete child, I had no idea what I was doing or what this world entailed. Um, didn't have a lot of practice, but apparently my mother-in-law was like, I remember watching you when you won. And I was like, I was in London, this is 2000. They were, I think, in um, New, they were in Texas. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was like, there's no way. And she was like, I remember it so clearly because it was November. Nick was on some Broadway show at seven years old. His brother was on some Broadway show at eight or nine. And she said, I remember this clearly because Kevin Sr., my father-in-law, loves watching pageants. And he, I remember, was watching it. And Nick came and sat down and watched you win, which is unfathomable. Like, that was 22 years ago or something. He was seven, I was 17. And he was sitting there and he was watching. Isn't that, it, it's just, it was so weird. And I was like, I don't know. It sounded like a destiny. Like it was Maybe. Weird to me. Is that not how you perceive it? I do, but yeah, I, I feel like it was some sort of, you know, I do believe that people are meant to be for, with each other for whatever that duration in your life is supposed to be. And I think that people collide because you're supposed to create on this, small, short life that you have, memories that you will take forward, family, and, and I think that Nick and I had, through our lives, like these weird, enchanted little moments, and, um, but it's lovely now to have found your person. He's, yeah, he's And you guys are such a beautiful couple, one of my favorite celebrity couples, that is, I will have to say that. Now, let's talk about your new show, Citadel. Yes, ma'am. Tell everyone what it's about. Um, Citadel is out there on Amazon Prime right now. Please go and watch it. Um, it's an amazingly ambitious show. It's with Richard Madden, Stanley Tucci, Ashley Cummings. It's a great cast. Um, it's a spy, spy show. It's original um, IP, which means like the story is completely new. Um, it's basically a Citadel. Citadel is an intelligence agency like the CIA, but for the whole world. It's mm -hmm. loyalty is not to any nation because there's so much war that has happened that governments decide that they should share intelligence. And we are top spies of that agency and um, our memories get erased because Citadel is compromised. And basically, Richard's character and my character have history and it's heavy history. Mm -hmm. And then our memories are erased and then we come together and <laughs> hits the fan. <laughs> And we have to save the world while saving each other. And I love it. It is, it's, it's great. And it has the most, it's the Russo brothers that helmed it. And it has the most amazing action. And Amazon has really put, um, it's very ambitious because it has, it's a truly global show. It has a leg in um, Italy. Mm. It has another show in India. And all the stories are cross-pollinated. So if you watch this show, um, you can watch the other shows as well and, you know, have, like, the origin story for my character or the origin story for other characters That's that smart. you will see in... So it's such a global, um, I guess, experiment. Mm -hmm. um, it makes it so fun. It's never happened in television yeah. before. I was thinking. Yeah. And then you do, like, some fight scenes up in there, huh? 
a that year and a tough. half of fights. A year and a half of fights? Girl, I can't even. What is that? What? I know. It was a lot of stunts. Like, <laughs> did, did you ever get hurt doing any of the stunts? Yes, I, I did. I have a scar here. I don't know if you can you see it. That's a scar from, from your fight scene? Yeah. Oh, you tough. So, oh no. I, I, I don't usually hide it because I'm like, I have a little street cred. But in this scene, right? You earned it. I know. I was like, in this scene, I was fighting five guys and I'm getting really beaten up. Five and... guys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a really tough spy. I speak seven languages in the show. Girl, Mandarin right. included. Hi, this is Celine Dion. Sure. And I'm Mariah Carey. Don't give up on this call. Love comes to those who believe it. And this is really me. Oh, yes, it is. <clears throat> oh my gosh, hi. We're <laughs> <laughs> back with Priyanka. I'm like, girl. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about your new movie, Love Again. Tell everyone what it's about. It's such a cute movie. It is um, Sam Hewen, me, and Celine Dion. Yeah, Celine is actually playing herself in the movie, and she's so funny, and it's her acting debut. Oh, my goodness. Would you, I would have thought that Celine probably did movies, but she's never done movies, and she probably should, because she's amazing <laughs> in it. Um, but it was, it's an amazing rom-com. I love romantic comedies, and we have original music from her as well, and she Ooh. helps. My character basically loses her fiance and, you know, starts sending texts to his old number and it goes to this guy, Sam's character. And it's kind of poignant and sad and they find love because Celine helps them find love. Find love again. It comes out on Mother's Day, you guys. It's really cute. You must go watch it. Oh, I'm definitely yeah. going to watch it. That's my type of movie right there. And Nick is in the movie too. Oh. Yes. Y'all have a funny scene together. Nick is How was that? Um, I was actually really grateful. I was, this was during COVID. We shot it 2020. And I had to move to London to film it. So Nick was like, you know, I'm going to come with you. I'll make sure you're all settled. Yeah, I have a good, good man. Um, he's like, I'm, I'll make sure you're all settled and everything. So he happened to be there while I was filming the movie. So this, this actually, this scene was written for just any actor, mm -hmm. and um, the directors, the producers came up to me and they were like, do you think we could ask Nick to do it? And I was like, yes, yes, please, because literally in the scene, it says, this guy like slobberly, slowly kisses me. <laughs> and I, I can't do slobbery kisses. <laughs> I don't blame you. Like, that's all too much. It's too graphic, like saliva. But the scene was that, so I was just so happy it was like familiar. <laughs> Saliva. You caught the right one, that's for sure. I was like, thank God. Can you imagine doing that with a random? No. Ah! So yeah, I lucked out. I was like, yes, yes, Nick will do it. See, but the thing <laughs> is, everybody don't have a Nick, though, girl. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Listen. <laughs> oh my God. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.